Hi, beloved. It's me, Robin. Robin Hallett, intuitive healer and light sparkler at robinhallett.com. And this is a guided meditation for... Hmm, you have people in your family where it's just stressful. Differences of opinion, um, emotional baggage, old stories, history. You're probably guessing I'm talking about all of us and everybody. <laughs> this is a guided meditation for those of us who are in relationship with people where we would just like it to be better. We'd like it to be different. There are problems we don't know how to come back from. Things got said, stuff got done. You know, this is a perfect meditation for parents and children um, or children and parents. You know, whatever it is that your particular issue is, this is a meditation for healing, for your healing, for your heart, for your ease and peace and forward movement. You know, I understand all too well um, how hard it can be when, you know, there's somebody in our family or, or a close friend where we would really like things to be different. And simply put, it's just not. You can't get water from a dry well, so to speak, and there's sadness there and there's hurt feelings, you know, on your, in your heart. And maybe you even know that this person is just, they don't have the capacity, they don't have the bandwidth, um, you know, they don't have the understanding that you have. Maybe you know that, maybe you know that, um, you know, they're a little bit nuts in their own way and they just can't give you what you keep going to them hoping to find so this is for that i think about over the years you know the moms and daughters i've helped in session i think about dads and sons i think about you know just siblings so many stories i could tell but i have my own stories you know places where I wish so hard it was different and yeah this feels like a really long introduction to this healing but you know whatever it is that's bothering your heart today sweetheart that's what we're gonna do as a healing so if it feels right come into your heart and you'll see I put my hands here you can put a hand on your high heart and a hand on your belly. That's okay. And if it doesn't feel right, do what you want. Your way is the right way. So, you know, you might want to close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Let it out again. And feel into your heart. And go ahead and find that place of hurt, maybe sadness and just for a moment really allow yourself to feel your feelings no matter what you find don't judge it don't push it down just try to let it be Keep breathing with it and see if there's a way for you to observe the story you tell and the energy you fall into with this. You know, sometimes I find there's a pattern we keep repeating with this one person. You know, it's maybe it's the way they respond to you or they don't respond to you or you know, you'd like them to say something sweet, but they te say something teasing and unkind inst instead. So just observe. Look at it, this part of you that is so hurting. Take a deep breath. 
First of all, where is that? Do you feel it in your body? Is it somewhere outside of your body? Where does that upset live? Keep breathing. And as you draw in air, allow it to go right to that spot. Right to the spot where it hurts. You know, let yourself feel it there. And let's ask this part of ourselves, what do you need, sweetie? What do you need, kiddo? You know, and just hang out here for a while. See what comes. What is it that you need? If you're here with me practicing, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're somebody who wants to shift this dynamic. You're somebody who wants to change the energy. You want to change it. You don't want to keep hanging on to the same old, same old. You know, you don't want to keep doing the dance with this person. You want to shift it. And a lot of times for me, that's, I say to myself, Robin, you can either be right, you know, you can have this opinion, you can cherish this story, you can allow this wound to fester, or you can choose your healing. You can choose the light. So I say you can either be right or you can choose the light. And I gotta say, it's a really grown up thing to do, no matter how old you are. You know, there's a part of us that would just love to really mm, say a few things. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of my practice person right now. Sure, sure, that might feel satisfying in a certain way, but you know, we want to stop being upset about this. We want to stop having this place in us that feels broken and so needy and like that person is the only one who can give us what we need. It's not true. So not true. So not true. You can give yourself something really powerful here. So let's take a breath and let it out again. And invite a little light. So if you're willing to not just be right and to invite some light, let's invite a little light into that place that's been hurting, that's been, you know, feeling bitter or um, resentful. Sometimes people are really good at triggering us in that way and, you know, their behavior triggers a wound in us. Nobody makes us feel anything, by the way, you know. Coming out of that story of blame and victimhood is a really big deal. It's a really grown-up thing to do, but nobody can make us feel anything. Nobody can make us be anything. We choose. So, you know, we're choosing now to do some work. And see if this prayer feels right for you. Don't just say it along with me. See if it feels good. I release now any intention I hold, any decision or commitment I've made, conscious or unconscious decisions, to postpone my life to sit right here and wait for this person, for you to complete me. I release it now and I release you now gently to your own star in the universe, to your own place and with as much truth and love as I can muster, it might be 1% and it might be 100%. Wish this person all the very best. I 
now return you to you and I allow me to belong to me. Deep breath in, deep breath out. So let's try that again, okay? I'm riffing a little bit, but you can always rewind. I release now any intention I hold, any decision or commitment I have made, conscious or unconscious decision, to keep my life waiting, to postpone my progress while I wait for you to complete me, while I wait for you to apologize to me, while I wait for you to acknowledge me, while I wait for you to admit what you did, to give me the accolades I've been seeking, to give me the affirmation I've wanted all this time. I release it now. And whether it's 1% or 100%, I am willing to see you happy and at peace and on your own way, on your own path. Bless you and bless me. And this might be feeling emotional. This might be feeling painful. You know, I get it. Like I say, none of us is immune to this stuff. We're all walking together. So you may want to just put your hands out like this and invite the light. You know, if it's a beautiful sunny day or it's a little overcast here, I can still invite the light because it's not about the literal sunshine. This light I'm speaking of is your essence. It's the sparkle. It's the spark of the universe that you are. Invite that light in. You know, and this is such a good practice to do, you know, especially with people you can't talk like this to. People who don't get it. This is not their journey. They're not on a healing journey. And I'm not even judging that. You know, I'm thinking about like my dad or my stepdad who this wasn't their, um, this wasn't their lingo. That's okay, right? Not everybody has to do it how you do it. So we're going to invite the light and let it really come down over us like a beautiful um, light-filled sparkle egg just cracked over our heads in the best possible way. And it's just all these sparkles are floating down over every aspect of us, our physical, our non-physical presence, you know, our energy centers. Just let this really rain down over you. all the way down to your feet, your toes, and you can do it again. You can just keep letting this bath of light and sparkles wash over you. Hmm. And I know it's hard, but I want you to continue to encourage yourself to offer light and peace to this person. Because sometimes you're the one that feels hurt and harmed and sometimes you're the one that's caused hurt and harm for them or according to them. You know, it's so tricky relationship. It's our biggest edge, if you ask me. So we want to keep offering light and peace. And, you know, I have a motto. I say to myself, Robin, don't explain and don't complain. Um, if somebody has a problem with me, I really practice being a good receiver and kind and gentle. Um, I've hurt people's feelings. I've disappointed. I have been, um, I've been persnickety. I've lashed out. I've done things in anger, right? You have too. So sometimes it's good to practice realizing, oh, just like me, me too, just like me. None of us is 100%, you know, uh, without any shadow stuff that has happened. And right, this is just, we're human beings 
trying to have a more spiritual experience, but we still have things we do and say. So for the hardest stuff, you know, the, the difficult, grittiest edges, a couple of things I really like to do. Just stay with your breath, you know. You can keep letting that light sparkle egg come down over you and wash through your energy field and really help you heal. You can keep practicing with different people. You know, lots of us have more than one. Sometimes a parent who I will see in session has several children that they are estranged from and there is such you know, big heartbreak around that. So you can keep practicing with each one. Move on to other people while I'm talking to you, okay? We let this energy come in, but um, a sea salt bath. If you're lucky to live by an ocean and the weather's warm, go swim, dunk your head under the water, spend a lot of time in the salt water. If you live somewhere um, by a lake, I, uh, I often feel that there is still this element of the minerals in the water, in the fresh water, that's fantastic. Go swim, be in the water, put your feet in the water, splash in the water, and you can take a salt bath. Easy, you can take a salt bath. And I'll put some links to different salts I like to buy. I just ship them from Amazon, but, um, you know, a good amount of salt like four or five cups um, in your tub so that when you taste, if you were to taste the water, you could taste some salt and soak for 20 minutes with the intention of your healing. Make sure you, if you do that, rinse your body with fresh water afterwards so you don't dry out like a little crispy critter. And the other thing you can do it together or separately is the prayer Ho'oponopono the Hawaiian forgiveness, the healing ritual, which is just such a beautiful transformer of energy. And um, this is how I like to say it. I imagine the person in front of me, and this transmutes the energy. It shifts things, so you don't need to say it to them in the physical, okay? Because <laughs> like when I think of my dad, he would just say, what are you kidding me? What are you kidding me? I could hear him right now. Are you kidding me? You know, um, yeah. So sometimes people just, this is too intense and it's not appropriate. So you practice in the privacy of your own mind and heart. So here we go. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Say it one more time. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And this transforms the energy backwards and forwards throughout time and space, you know, it's a very powerful healer. And what I always say to friends and students on this journey is you're either going to go with this woo or you're not. So what have you got to lose when you're really, things are really tough and really intense. This is what we need to do. We need to bring our energy to spirit. We need to open our hearts to God or you know, the creative source of the universe, however that feels okay for you to say, and say, help me. I'm ready to release this now. I release this now. I'm ready to, you know, I'm willing, even I'm willing to be willing. Go, do it. Let it out. Let it go. Because I tell you what, you're a precious gem and suffering is not what we're supposed to be doing. Suffering is a great opportunity to wake us back up into the light. That's what suffering, that's the gift of suffering. It wakes us back up into the opportunity to practice. So again, you know, we can be offended or we can be in our mode of wanting to be in progress with this. And a lot of times the one with the awareness has to go first. The one who's carrying the light has to go first because the other person may not get it, may not understand. Um, so 
We'll just keep practicing, beloved, and you're worth it, and I'm worth it, and they're worth it. And what I know and what I have seen in hundreds of people I've helped and in my own life, all the people in my life, when you say a powerful prayer, you invoke spirit and you're sincere in your effort to understand and release and heal. Okay? It's sincere from your heart. It doesn't matter if it's messy or imperfect. You really mean it. I know that miracles happen, you know? And the Course in Miracles says we can either choose a grievance or a miracle. So I choose a miracle. And I always love to hear what happens, you know? You can always email me at hello at robinhallett.com. And seriously, if you're not signed up for my um, Love Posse notes, my updates that I send out every week, do. I'll put the links below. You know, I'm interested in your growth and healing, and I want you to feel good about the life you're in and feel good about the relationships you're in and to have the peace you've always wanted to have the joy and peace, and especially in your relationships. So lots of love to you. I love you. You got this. We got this. Okay? It's Robin. Robin Hallett, signing off. Ciao. Bye.